Hey folks, it's Rick. So, this is what I've been thinking about practicing. Um, back when I was, uh, back in my days at seminary school, no, um, back when I was in music college, um, in our music theory classes, we learned about a technique in Baroque and classical harmony known as the Neapolitan Six. And the Neapolitan Six was always very complicated when you were trying to um, write your little four-part harmony exercises. But I figured out that it can be jazzy. So basically, Neapolitan Six is um, a two chord, which is normally, say we're in G minor. Two chord is usually A minor, seven. And then the five chord is D seven one chord is there, which is really nice, it all sounds. Anyway, the Neapolitan six is a different subdominant or two chord, so the two chord is the subdominant, this is the dominant, and this is the one chord. So um, different would be a major flat two chord. And so this is uh, it's basically an A minor seven, well, an A minor, not the seven, it typically wouldn't have a seventh, but whatever. A flat minor with a C in the bass. So that posed some challenges as far as soloing in that, you know, the first chord of the three chords, you have this. And what do you do with that? I mean, just playing a minor scale over it sort of works. But really, I found that playing this A flat uh, Dorian works pretty well. Probably the uh, uh, G melodic minor would work, or I mean the, uh, I'm sorry, A flat melodic minor. Oops. Anyway, um, and then there's the idea to get back into G minor. So, a little bit of a jazzy thing, but I thought, hey, maybe I'll work through this and see if I can solo over it. Anyway, that's what I've been working on this week, and this is how it turned out. Thank mm -hmm. you. 